Hello, this is my first video on a plugin called MainWP, which we've been using on a daily basis since 2015 and consider an important part of our business. Now, this plugin does an awful lot and I'm not gonna be able to cover that in this one introduction video. So perhaps consider this as just a review of a bias review of MainWP. What it is essentially is a free to use plugin that's available on the WordPress repository that will turn a WordPress install into a main dashboard from which you can manage all of the other sites that you are responsible for. And the plugin itself has a five star rating and it has over 10,000 active installations. In fact, it's not just the one plugin, this creates the dashboard. If you want to connect your sites to this dashboard, you will need to use their secondary plugin, which is their child plugin. You add this to all of the sites that you want to be managed and then this connects it securely to the main site. And and from there, well, you can do quite a lot. Most of the things are based around extensions and there's a whole number of them. The basic thing you can do though is you can go into your main dashboard and with the single click of a button, you can update all of your themes and your plugins in bulk. And in fact, you don't even need to do that because with main WP, you can set some of those themes and plugins as trusted. So it will automatically update those for you. And for those that you need to update manually, you'll get a notification as well via email. So it's a really big time saver. The plugin itself is free and it provides most of the essential things that you're going to need. And it does that via a number of extensions. So there are a whole bunch that they provide which are free. And on top of that, there are some free ones that are by third parties. There's one on the top there. These are usually created by uh, plugin developers because they want their plugin to be connected to main WP so you can change all the settings across all sites. I think the free is pretty good for most. We've always had the pro bundle version, but let me just quickly cover what the free can do. So through connecting to a few backup plugins through the free connectors, you can do all of your backups across all of the sites. Through a connection with Security plugin, you can check security. And in fact, MainWP has some basic security checks on your child sites that's built into it. And you can do other things like measure uptime monitoring. So this is an extension which connects to a service called Uptime Robot, which gives you um, 50 free sites that you can measure and you can see the status or the, the monitor of those in that central dashboard there. So it covers an awful lot just in the free, but we've always used the pro because we wanted to send out automated client reports and there is an extension for that. And in fact, there are now going to be two because there's one in beta as I'm recording this, which I shall be looking at, I think in another video, which allows you to send uh, more fancy reports and you can kind of style those to your branding. But the client reports have been really handy. They're sent out automatically main WP through the child plugin and an extension for that will gather some information about what's being done. So it will create these automatic reports that go out to our clients and we couldn't be without it. There are a whole bunch of extensions which we no longer use that we did use which connect up to other services like WordFence we used to use that so that was nice to be able to connect up and change all of the settings across all of the sites the same with WP Rocket as well as cash in plugin we don't use these any longer but we still use quite a lot of them we use the backup buddy plugin and I think some of the key important ones for me are, let me just see if I can find it, is this maintenance plugin. This allows me, and again, it's automated. I've set this so it does it, I think on the third day of the month, it will go and optimize all the databases for all of the sites. So I'm allowed to set what I want it to do, so it'll clear out all of the junk or trashed posts and it will clear out 
all of the spam comments for me and, and generally clean up the database. I can't cover all of these, but uh, there are a couple that I want to point out because I think these are unique to main WP, or certainly I'm wedded to this system because of a few plugins that I don't think others do. One of those, if I can find it, is this one, File Uploader. I've mentioned this in another video when I was talking about Beaver Builder, my page builder. I have a plugin which I need to update that delivers all of these templates. And I'm not able to do that through another method. I haven't got a system as somebody who updates plugins, but I can do this because it only requires one file and I can send that out to all of my sites. And there is another great plugin, I think, because I think this makes up for any shortfall. So if you don't find that a plugin that you use is included, and you would like to change the settings globally, well, you can do it with this bulk setting manager. It allows you to kind of record some actions and some settings across WordPress and across any of the plugins, as long as it doesn't require Ajax to do that work. And you can set it. So if you don't have a plugin that you want to control centrally, well, this is the plugin that's going to do it, and it's included in the Pro. So let me just take a look at the Pro. I'm assuming most people will be interested in that who watch my videos. So they used to sell the extensions individually. Now they just come as a package because I'm sure that's how most people get it. I bought the lifetime package over four years ago, and I really do consider it as some of the best money that we've ever spent on our business. And you can get this monthly as well. If you get the lifetime package, you'll get all of the current extensions and your new extensions, lifetime updates, lifetime support, and unlimited sites. And it gets even better because I begged for a discount code on that. And it's on the blog post article. So in this video, I'm not going to be able to cover all of the things I talk about in this blog post because I go into more detail about some of the competition and why I've chosen it and why some people perhaps don't prefer main WP, but they may have misunderstood it. So you might want to check out my blog post here. But here is the coupon code. You just, when you add it to the cart, you just need to add in digital freedoms and it will take 25% off, which will make it. 2.99 and 25 cents and this is just on the lifetime deal i had to beg for this because they don't give out this amount of discount now and quite understandably they've just put out um, a new version version 4 and they're doing some work on the extensions it's obviously uh, growing a lot for them so they don't really need to incentivize anything but i have been a, a long time supporter of this in fact i'm on their blog and i've supported them as well through the podcast I do with Nathan Wrigley called WP Builds and um, they've, they've taken pity on me because usually I'm not an affiliate marketer I don't do this professionally to make money if you do buy from this I will get a kickback but I only promote the tools that I use and they usually spend some time working out whether they're going to be suitable before promoting them which is you know fine for my personal sense of integrity but is lousy usually for getting discounts for people but in this case this is the best discount and it's called digital freedoms because it's really this is part of my series where I'm sharing our experiences of providing client website services or really building sites in order to maintain a free lifestyle. We are digital nomads, but we have a group that I've set up, which I hope to get going over this next year, which is really for anybody who builds sites because they want to enjoy the work and they want to have lots of free time. And a key component for us have been able to provide kind of low cost hosting and maintenance for people because this gives us an almost passive income which is scalable and that really keeps us afloat over our time. So that's what that's about and that's why this is called Digital Freedoms. And this is why I'm talking about main WP now. So let me just show you a little bit of the interface. Now, since version four, you can now, with another free extension, you can go in and change the CSS. So I've done this on our site. I can't show you how we normally have it configured because it's going to give away our clients, which I don't want to do, but we've been able to brand it with our logo. It's, I don't know if you can see this very well, but it's got this purple section here. I've actually arranged how this is laid out here. This is what it looks like more. I've gone to one section in this. And there's a lot you can do with the settings anyway. If you don't have CSS, you can 
obviously it's going to change depending on what extensions you're going to add and you can move those around the drag and drop and you can decide whether you're going to have two or that you're going to have three columns and you can hide things because not everybody wants to update everything like this with one button and trust all of their plugins. Some people want to decide which plugins they on which themes they're going to update and you can do that. So you can do a lot of configuration with this. What I want to show you in this video, because I don't want it to be too long, is just the steps when you try and install the main plugin, you will get a quick startup wizard, which will just, I think, come on straight away. But we can bring it up here again and this takes you through the installation so let's just go I'm not going to go through all of this but the first thing that you get asked is whether you're going to host that somewhere on a server or whether you're going to have it on local host so on your computer with say using something like WAMP or MAMP or anything else now I know some people put it on their local host for security there's this concern that if somebody gets into the main WP site that they're going to be able to access all those other sites this isn't a concern of mine there is a free plugin that's called I think clean and lock where you can add in extra protection so even if they manage to get through to WordPress with your password there's another protection there's another password or you can set it as well so it only lets people in with a certain IP and you can also set it so it redirects so the whole site except for obviously the login can redirect so it's going to if you like remove some of the people who are going to be trying to hack your site we don't do any of this because we don't want the extra login and we are moving around all of the time so the ip is not going to work for us we just use our regular security that we have and we do monitor it and we can see now by blocking the regular suspects the people who do try to attack sites we really don't get any attacks so we're not really worried about it. but I don't think you need to go on local host if that's your concern and there is a, a downside to it because I think there is a way around and I think there is an article on the main WP site about how you can run cron jobs on the local host but generally you'll want those to run so you can automate things so you can see uptime monitoring and send out reports on a timer so this process also sets up uh, up with the cron jobs here so i just wanted to mention that it does go over some of the uh, system requirements here very basic ones anybody who's thinking about getting this i would this is self-hosting so it's going to be really as good as your hosting and as good as the hosting that you've got for your child sites I've written about this in the blog. We stumbled across that problem when we first tried it. We had very sort of poor hosting with a lot of our client sites and this broke the connection. Absolutely nothing to do with the reliability of main WP. It's always been very reliable for us, but hosting is key. And this is what makes it different from some of the hosted solutions or SaaS solutions. So you probably want to check out the articles on there to know whether you're using the right kind of servers but you can do a lot of setting this. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing here, but there is a section on optimizing the, the kind of performance here. And if I just jump out of that, if I just go back a little bit, I'll just show you where the settings are. So you can determine, depending on the kind of hosting that your clients or you have, how much resources it's going to use. And I'm not sure if everybody knows about that. Let's go to the advanced options here. So you can, when this loads here, you can decide across one IP how many uh, simultaneous requests there's going to be and the time in between these. Again, on my blog post, I show that I've been experimenting to see how, um, how much resources main WP uses and also when it's updating I've got like 42 sites on a single server there. So I want to know that it's not going to be using up uh, too much power to and slowing down all of the sites. But what, I think we've got that right. And it's just one of the extra responsibilities if you want to make this work really, really well. I think generally, if you just follow the guidelines here, it's going to work pretty well for you. But if you do find yourself with some issues, it's likely to be those and you can change some settings over here. And I think that really covers all that I wanted to say on that. I will say it's worth just having a skim read over some of the other points that I make on it. I'm, I don't think there can be a better deal out there. And certainly I now, originally I thought a SaaS solution like perhaps the, the main one out there, which is Managed WP, might be right for me. But I now think that having this and the, the cost of it under your control, it's 
fully open source so you can do what you like with this plugin. And of course, if it gets sold off as Ma uh, Managed WP has been to GoDaddy, and I see there is another one, I think it's WP Remote or Remote WP has been sold to BlogVote. None of the data on my client sites is going to a new company. It's all in my control. So I kind of like this approach. And I think, you know, if you've got the time to put in and you're doing what we're doing, providing the hosting as well, I can't think of a better solution. Anyway, that's enough of me gushing over this. I hope to get on with some practical videos on Main WP soon. Thank you so much for your time. If you did enjoy this video, again, would you please give me a thumbs up on YouTube because it gives me some indication. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.